Go oh, ready. Uh, 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 you never said like action or whatever. Action? <laughs> no. There we go. Hi guys, this is Elliot from the Little Punk People here, and today I'm here with Nurgle from Behemoth. We're at the listening party in New York. Are you ready? I was born ready. Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> so how are you doing? Are you excited for the listening party? Uh, I'm, I'm really excited, and it just started, so we are here, and uh, the thing, the magic is happening downstairs, because that's where it's taking place, okay? In the very cellars, in the dungeons of New York. And we are here in this quiet, relatively quiet room, uh, talking some metal, and I don't know, you, you probably want to talk about the girls and stuff, so <laughs> go on, bring it on. <laughs> what would you do if you woke up in the middle of the night and saw a vision of Jesus Christ standing over your bed? <laughs> I'll be like, uh, oops. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, yeah, that record. Yeah, I know, man. No, 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 no. Sorry. It wasn't really me. It wa Jesus, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, what would you do if you said, I actually like that album? I'm just coming here to tell you, you know, I'm really proud of yeah, you. Yeah, let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. If he's out there somewhere, I really hope he's a huge Behemoth fan and he's got enough sense of humor to. To, to like what we do. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. If you could rid the world of one thing, what would you pick? Ah, uh, stupidity. Overwhelming <laughs> stupidity. I face it like on a daily basis, you know, everywhere. Especially you know, when it comes to Polish politics, Polish courts. Yeah, yeah, stupidity is like a, I mean, yeah, out. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think happens when you die? And what do you hope happens when you die? I don't know. I mean, since everything is, a, an, is an energy, I think we transform into something. But uh, I, I'm not arrogant enough to give you definitions or telling you, like giving you answers because I sincerely don't know. I don't even go that far. I think we just, we've just become something. We are like human beings, you know, and we become some other beings, you know. I don't know, maybe we become this sofa. When we, <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. When maybe we become that wood what? that is up there or a light or something. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it's an unanswerable question. True. That's a good answer. What do you think should happen to all the Catholic priests who sexually abuse children? Kill them all? Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, like That'd cut be... their head off? Cut, cut their heads off? No, no, head in a, in a, some, in a, in, in some way you call it a head, okay? <laughs> uh, nah, no, I mean, well, what can I say? Uh, well, honestly, to me, Catholic Church is the source of like a lot of pathology that that's corrupting the earth. I'm not saying all of the people that are there are bad, not at all, you know. But um, you know what? I had an ex-girlfriend years and years ago, and uh, she had she she. I mean, she had a, a grandma, and a grandma was a religious person, okay? And she's no more. She died like, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. And I remember her as a very religious person when she would think of, uh, of priests uh, living in a celibate, you know? She would just question that and saying, oh, it's like, it's like telling men not to breathe. I mean, it just feel, it's not natural to take away like the basic instincts from a human being because we're human being, we're, that's, that's how we live, you know. This is, this is the, 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 
the laws of like the instinct laws and and you can try to like cover it up you know but it's gonna come out like this way or another so like the worst thing you can do you can just try to restrain a human being that's where the worst pathologies come out so i'm definitely against that i'm totally when do you think you'll be able to work on your collaboration project with Rob Halford? That's a question to Rob, to the metal god himself, okay? And uh, seeing how your career, how fast your career is uh, growing, next person you'll be interviewing is Rob Halford himself. Please do ask Rob this question, okay? Because um, I'm just waiting for his call. I mean, he says, hey, I'm ready. I need to drop, I'm, if we're touring with Slayer again, ever or Metallica, I have to drop that tour and just fucking run to Phoenix or wherever Rob is <laughs> living and fucking work my shit like ass off to bring the best song I can afford so he can sing there. And I'm, I'm trying to sound funny, but uh, the, the truth is that uh, me and Eason, we, we, we would love to do some music and uh, we would love to, we'd love Rob Halford to, to do some vocals over it. That'd be... <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. That'd be, that'd be beyond cool. Yeah. Have you ever met Rob Halford? Yes, we met a couple of times. We just met at Wacken German Festival a couple of weeks ago. Again, he was super cool, very friendly. Uh, one of the most humble human beings you know you'll meet ever is him. And in like considering his status, who he is, what he did to this genre, to heavy metal, it's, it only makes you even a bigger fan of that person, okay? But I'm sure that it's just, it's a matter of time, you meet Rob Halford. Awesome. Do you see any similarities between our government here in the U.S. with the government in Poland? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not really that great when it comes to politics. I'm not really into that, you know. But I hope I'm a good observer. And what I see, the parallel I see, that both are equally nuts. <laughs> I agree. Do you ever see any crazy things in your dreams that inspire your visual concepts mm, maybe it's hard to say I, I I do have visions when I dream I hardly ever remember them lately I, I had some really weird dreams really weird like they would they would fuck up my daily life they'd be like <laughs> I'm like I'll be thinking of my friends I'm like ah. and it would just mix with you know the dream would be just mix with uh, with with the real life, you know, like, uh, and then like, yeah, I had to like, like focus to realize that this is a dream and this is life, okay? But no, 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 no. I, I think it just comes from somewhere else, but not, not from, from above for sure, <laughs> from below. <laughs> or just your mind. <laughs> if you could travel back in time with your band to play shows, what year would you pick? What what year? Oh wow. <laughs> That's a really cool question. Really interesting. I don't know. I mean, uh, probably I'll probably go like before extreme metal was uh, even um before extreme metal even existed, which is like early 80s. So maybe like 80 or 79 when the punk rock was still like big and stuff. And if we brought that back there, we'd be like absolute pioneers, you know what I mean? And everyone would just spit on us and throw stones because it wouldn't be acceptable. But then, you know, eventually we would die because of all the stones and pee and all the <laughs> stuff they just throw at us, we would die. But uh, this way we just make it to the history forever. <laughs> Throw like sacks of poo or something <laughs> mixed with pee. <laughs> Did you watch season two of Ozarks yet? What are what are some of your favorite movies and TV shows? I've just finished a couple of days ago. I think it's amazing, but it's not as good as the first one. 
So I was like, I was really hooked. Uh, it's, it's really cool. It's a really good one. Uh, the, the best ones? Uh, Penny Dreadful. Wow, I'm just... It's just incredible. Uh, Taboo. Uh, Vikings. Uh, uh, the end of the fucking world. Uh, you should watch it. Did you see that? What? What, what is? It? The end of the fucking world. Uh-huh. So, boy, you have some homework. <laughs> you and your parents, you sit together. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's really awesome. Watch it. Watch it. Definitely. Okay. And the end of the effing world. Yeah. Okay. In your music video for Wolves of Siberia, what does the girl who gets killed by the wolf represent to you? Red Hood. Red Hood. Red Hood? Oh. So <laughs> I'm playing red, with you. Red <laughs> I'm playing with you, man. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, uh, that's actually a super original question. Wow. I'm impressed. I don't know. I think I have to think about it. You took me by surprise. I don't know. Honestly. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are your favorite bands that are not metal bands? I've just listened to the new Alice in Chains album, which I find absolutely stunning. And I just heard like a new Mark Lonegan album, which is, which is again amazing. So yeah, these two artists among other hundreds of others that I'm like, they worship. What music do you listen to just to relax, just like on your free time, like after a long day? Um, yeah, that's the thing, you know, when I go back home, you know, in the, in, in the evening, I just, I just listen to silence. No music really, just quiet. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, music is like ever present pretty much, you know, in my life, you know, so sometimes you just need to just shut everything down and just decompress you know what i mean yeah sleep you know sleep and just a really silence you know you you really need that to recharge yeah my dad yeah my dad likes staring at the wall you know (laughs) really yeah like and and with the speed like coming here (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. he's drooling (laughs) he actually does that (laughs) 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 Okay. For these questions, you're gonna say what you like better, okay? Very fast. Coffee or whiskey? Coffee. <laughs> God or dogs? Dogs. Politicians or vo- wolves? Wolves. Is there anything you'd like to add? Thank you. Thanks for your time and thanks for being so cool. And um, it's awesome. It's awesome, and I just said it before. Kids like you give us hope that the world is not uh, lost yet. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank Elliot. you so much. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is Elliot from Little Pump Pupil, and I want to say thank you for watching our video. And to make sure you guys go follow us on Instagram, at Little Pump Pupil, all one word and if you guys want to follow my personal it's e-l-l-i-o-t-t-f-u-l-l-a-m on instagram thank you for watching and have a nice night